So in this video, we're going to go through some examples of subtraction with integers. So let's start with number one here. 873 take away 149. So the 149 must go at the bottom. And you're lining up the units, tens, hundreds, columns. OK, so we've got 3 take away 9. OK, we can't do that because that's going to go into negative numbers. We don't want that to happen. OK, so 3 take away 9 we can't do. So I'm going to need to borrow 1 from the 7. So I cross it through. I borrow 1 and it becomes 6 there. OK, so 7 becomes 6 and the 3 becomes 13. So 13 take away 9 is 4. 6 take away 4 is 2. 8 take away 1 is 7. So we have 724. OK. Right, let's take a look at another example. So we have 6,782 take away 993. 2 take away 3, we can't do that, OK, without going into negatives, so I need to borrow 1 from the 8. So the 8 becomes 7, and I've borrowed 1, so 2 becomes 12. 12 take away 3 is 9. 7 take away 9, I can't do without going into negatives, so I need to borrow 1 from the 7. So I cross it through, the 7 becomes 6, and the 7 becomes 17. 17 take away 9 will get me 8. 6 take away 9 I can't do, so I need to borrow 1 from the 6. So I cross it through, it becomes 5, and I've borrowed 1, so the 6 becomes 16. 16 take away 9 is 7. And then I've got 5 take away nothing, so 5. So we have 5,789. OK, so last up, we have 57,312 take away 9,876. 2 take away 6, I can't do without going into negatives, so I'm going to borrow 1. So the 1 becomes 0, and the 2 becomes 12. 12 take away 6 is 6. 0 take away 7, I can't do. So I need to borrow 1 from the 3. I cross through the 3, it becomes 2, and the 0 becomes 10. 10 take away 7 is 3. 2 take away 8 I can't do, so I need to borrow from the 7. The 7 becomes 6, and the 2 becomes 12. 12 take away 8 is 4. 6 take away 9 I can't do, so I need to borrow 1 from the 5. It becomes 4, and the 6 becomes 16. 16 take away 9 is 7, and the 4 take away 0 is just 4. So we end up with 47,436.